I was not really planning to cover this OpenAI's agent kit, simply because in the last one day, there are hundreds of videos already covering what agent kit is, its components, and some simple demonstrations. But then two things happened. First, there was a popular demand from you guys as you wanted to hear my humble take on this OpenAI's agentic kit. Secondly, I thought maybe I will give this agent kit with a typical flavor of our own channel, which is the local first uh, approach always. So that is why in this video, I am going to show you how you can integrate this agent kit from OpenAI with local Olama based models. That's correct. I will be showing you all the steps and then we will see how exactly that works. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Please like and subscribe and consider becoming a member as that helps a lot. Very, very quickly for those who are not aware of what Agent Kit is. Agent Kit is OpenAI's new integrated platform designed to streamline the process of building deploying and optimizing AI agents for developers and enterprises. If you have ever worked with any agentic tool and in the last two years, I have worked with more than 200 to 300 different tools, local and open source, and we have covered most of them on the channel. It is pain in the back to have a multi-agent environment or a even single agent environment to control the behavior, to, eval, uh, to evaluate it, to trace it. There are a lot of things around it and then building a user interface, integrating it into your own environment. It is not an easy thing to do. Demos, um, cookie cutter solutions, they really look on the surface, but when you actually try to implement it, that is when it becomes hard. And that is the pain point OpenAI is trying to solve. Now, you know that what agent kit is on the surface, there are multiple components to it. So it comes with an agent builder, which is a visual interface for creating and versioning multi-agent workflows. It comes with a connector registry, which is a centralized system for managing data connector. And there are a lot of tooling which you can use, like you can connect it to your teams, your other external tools, Gmail, that sort of stuff. Then you also have a chat kit, which enables embedding fully customizable chat based interface. And then the list goes on and on around evaluation and tracing. I will be doing more videos on tracing and well, because I think that is something which is really cool in terms of this agent kit. Olama is one of the easiest tools to run language models locally, in my opinion, when you are starting out, especially if you don't know what Olama is, just search it out. Now, let me quickly show you an agent which is running with Olama integrated. This is a very simple agent which I have created in the agent builder in OpenAI's console. Just go to platform.openai.com and then sign in with your account. Uh, it's not a free account, by the way. You would have to just put in around $10 or something US in your account to get started. And once you have that, I already have created this very simple agent. Let me first play it and I will then explain how exactly I have created and integrated everything. All I have done here is you see, I have just typed in Fiji on the right hand side. Agent has worked and it has given me the capital SUA. Let's say I type here Australia. Agent is working, thinking, doing something. Behind the scene, it is using my Olama based model. And with Olama, interestingly enough, I'm using GPT OSS 20 billion model locally, and it has given me the response camera, one line or nothing else. If I click on start node here, I'll just click X. I'm back to the development environment. All I have done, um, once I created the new workflow, it has given me this start option and also with the agent. I have done nothing else. I am just keeping it very simple. Click on start on the right hand side. You see uh, it by default comes with various variables which you can specify. So for example, I'm just taking one input as text. As you just saw, I typed in Australia and that is where it has taken it as an input. You can add multiple 
numbers boolean and all that stuff but we're not worrying about that then we have our agent you can just drag and drop from here and these are connected so first start then my agent click on it you can just give it any name instruction is which what defines the role of the agent so i'm asking it to play the role of helpful assistant who always provides capital of country and from the user i'm taking this thing as input workflow this start dot input test text if go you if you go back to the start this is the label of my input if you have something else as a label just replace it in this dual curly braces and then you can just get any model here now now the magic part how i have integrated the olama you see i have as a tool i have given it my olama underscore mcp server so basically what i have done on my other server which i will show you shortly i have created a model context protocol server an mcp server which in simple words is a standardized way to connect your llm application to external endpoint so what i have done i have connected this agent builder or agent kit with my olama based model through mcp now if i double click on this this is what i have defined this is a link external public link of my mcp server and i will show you how I, have, how I have generated it this is just a label which i have given it you can change it i have just given it this api key i just wanted to secure it in the header the tools which are exposed by my mcp server is this, this chat so this is what mcp server does you create an mcp server it can do a lot of things so i have just given it chat tool which primarily chats with my olama based model i will show you shortly that is all i have done nothing else um, so i have connect and you can also create your own mcp server so if you go here mcp this is another mcp server and you just click click on add click on server this is where i have given the url of my server this is the one label description and all that stuff and this is the key where i have given it now this is all you needed to do as far as agent kit is concerned just think about it with this thing you can connect anything in the on the planet or even beyond with your agent kit or anything else mc this is the power of mcp or model context protocol now if you have never heard of model context protocol or you always wondered how to create your own just go to my channel type mcp tutorial watch this first video you will become a hero from zero in mcp under uh, just over 17 minutes it's a full tutorial how to install it how to create your own mcp server now what i have done here is i have just used this code where i have this olama based model running on locally on my system let me also quickly run and show you my olama list command if you don't know how to install and use olama again search my channel it's very simple to do you see this is the model which i'm accessing now it is running on my local system just give it any api key this is what i'm using and then this is where i'm defining that chat tool you see mcp decorator this is a chat tool which is primarily talking to my olama base model that is all i'm doing now what i have done here is this is where i have started my mcp server and you can see it is serving here don't worry about this this is just my random stuff and this is a 200k this is a session which was just established when i gave it australia now this is my mcp server which is running and i'll just take you here this is where i just needed to run this to install this package for mcp server and this is where i have just used this curl command to create a proxy so that i could use cloudflare's random link in order to access it that is what i am pasting it in my mcp if you don't want to use proxy you can just simply expose your public ip or dns name and then simply access it <clears throat> maybe you know front it with some load balancer if that's a production one or cloud front and use it like that or any cdn uh, content delivery network of your choice that is all i'm doing so that is how I have integrated this agent kit 
with Olama using my MCP server and this is MCP inspector which I have used in order to make sure everything is running right. I also tested it locally. And you see, this is where my actual MCP server is running on local system. You can define any tools of your choice, integrate any external input, output, and you are sweet to go. That's, th that's all there is to it. Now, please become a member of the channel as that helps a lot. Because uh, especially if you want that code, uh, I will be very happy to share it with you. But just please become a member. Your beautiful photo will also be appearing here on the home page of channel if you become a member and that helps me a lot in order to keep going and producing videos and also like and subscribe to the video towards the end i also want to introduce you to our very good friends at iGent who are sponsoring this video it is the world's first multi-agent workforce desktop application empowering you to build manage and deploy a custom ai workforce that can turn your most complex workflows into automated tasks. That's it. Thank you for all the support.